Hey, it's DJ Barbecue here to grill for your viewing and eating pleasure, the ultimate steak rump fillet. Look at these beautiful bad boys, man. Oh, they're so good. And for half the price of filet mignon, of fillet, we're talking the rump, the bullet, the kogel. Rump fillet, man, Dutch kogel. You gotta spit the G. <laughs> First, make sure you take your steaks out of the refrigerator at least 60 minutes before you cook them. You want them to room temperature. These things are thick. It's gonna take a while. Now come over here. We're gonna get our butter rocking. We got our knife. Stick it in the butter. There we go. Mmm. It's like a popsicle full of heart attack. <laughs> There's our unsalted butter. We're gonna let it melt down. And the fat from the butter is gonna give us that caramelization on the meat. And in the meantime, we're gonna sort out the steaks. And that is with sea salt. You want them to melt onto the meat. And right there is pepper. Now, I used to use pepper, but sometimes pepper can go accurate. They actually burn on the steaks. So we're gonna put the pepper on at the very end when we let the steak rest. So just salt, real simple, man. So do one side, then turn them over. There's a lot of surface area to rock and flavor. Butter is melted, let's get the steaks on the grill. Oh yeah. You guys ready? <laughs> Here we go. Oh yeah, you want a nice, fierce, hot heat. Proper hot heat, feel that, oh yeah. Two steaks on the grill. We're gonna give them a minute, then flip them. We basically wanna sear the outside and keep it all juicy inside, man. We want a beautiful flavor on the outside and the char. That's one minute up, time to flip. I cook my steak a minute aside, three flips. I like my steak medium rare. Shake your rumpa. Boom. Oh, that's a minute, sorry. Okay, all right, we've just done both sides, now we're doing the perimeter, man. Sealing all that juicy flavor, man. I might even work a couple tongs, dude, because I'm doing two steaks at once. Look at this, ambidextrous, going lefty. I'm going southpaw. All right, we've sealed all the sides, now it's the turn of the herb brush. So, if you want to know how to make this, just click on the herb brush. Okay, so we're gonna dip the herb brush into the butter, and then we're gonna splash flavor onto the steaks. You can see a bit of flare up. That's good, man. That's gonna help us give a beautiful char on the steak. Once you hit it with the herb brush, flip it and hit it again for another minute. We're gonna kiss the steaks. <laughs> so much flavor. You know what? Our steaks are good. The amount of time you've used to cook your steaks, you're gonna use that same amount of time to rest your steaks. Let all that moisture and that juicy goodness come back into that muscle. So when you cut it open, it's just juicy and beautiful. I can see you guys like, come on, I wanna eat. Uh-uh, you gotta rest them, okay? All right, so we're gonna take them over to the indirect side of the barbecue, and we're gonna let them rest for about four to five minutes, all right? When they're resting, you add the pepper. Get it on both sides. Let's get our steaks off the grill and mange. And we've got a beautiful medium rare cook rocking here, just the way I like it. That is perfect. Look at all those juices right there. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh man, these are beautiful. One for the camera guy. You know what, I always eat first and I feel bad because you've got to film it all, dude. So listen, this goes to you. All right, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> right? I'm gonna have to sit down. <laughs> This rump fillet steak is perfect on its own, just with the, the herb brush and the butter and the salt and the pepper. But if you want to pimp it out, I've got this beautiful chimichurri sauce. You can drizzle it on there, give it a bit of like tang with the garlic and the coriander and the, and the parsley. Oh, and that vinegar will just set it off. If you want to learn how to make the chimichurri sauce, click on the jar now. Just do yourselves a favor and click on it, man. Chimichurri, beautiful on meat. Well, that's it for DJ Barbecue's Ultimate Steak. What do you guys want me to cook, man? You guys asked for that one. I wanna hear from you guys in the comments below. Do it, and also make sure you click on this thing if you haven't subscribed already. I'm DJ Barbecue, and I am out of here. Yeah! And if you want more rad recipes that will blow your barbecue away, then check out my new channel on the FoodTube Network. Awesome.